The NFL has suspended Obafemi Ayan Bendejo for the first four games of the regular season for violating the league's steroid and related substance rules. Now, the Bears knew about this violation before they even signed him. William Jackson explains why the Bears feel there's more to this story. Bears fullback Obafemi Ayan Bedejo took a frustrating walk to dinner on Thursday night here in Bourbonnet, just after the news was released that the NFL has suspended him for four games for violating the league's anabolic steroids and related substance policy. It's something that I've known about for a while. Um, it came up actually in January. Um, that's when I had the test. Uh, I got the notice that I failed the test in April. Obviously, um, prior to the notice, I didn't think there was anything wrong. I didn't think I had done anything that had uh, infringed on the rules of the NFL uh, uh, performance enhancing drug policy. Um, basically, it's a simple case of a supplement that I took. Um, I didn't do my due diligence as a, as a consumer um, before I ingested it. Obafemi says he's taken over 60 drug tests during his football career, and this is the first time it hasn't come back clean. And although he had an illegal substance in his body, he wanted to make it clear it wasn't a steroid. Uh, the NFL drug policy encompasses a lot more than just steroids. Uh, they deem things that are related um, just as uh, bad as a steroid. And at the end of the day, what I took was basically an anti-estrogen related substance, uh, a component that was anti-estrogen, which basically means it depletes your estrogen levels. Obafemi says he's extremely careful what he puts in his body, but in this particular instance, he wasn't careful enough with the product he purchased over the counter. There's a lot of things that, that are sold over the counter that uh, fall into the NFL uh, drug policy that are banned. And um, you would think someone like myself wouldn't fall into this boat and end up in this predicament. But, you know, I'm a human. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. And uh, it was just a, a bad case of, of not doing uh, my homework and making sure that a supplement that I ingested uh, wasn't going to get me in this kind of trouble. Obafemi is a nine-year veteran of the game and takes pride in being a character guy. So taining his reputation may be more hurtful than the four-game suspension he'll have to serve. My intent was not to, to uh, uh, do anything wrong. Um, secondly, um, I did not take a steroid. I want to make that clear. And, and thirdly, you know, I would never do anything to embarrass my brother, my family, my kids, my friends, my teammates, the people that I've that supported me my whole career. He's going to do everything he can to, uh, to try and, and switch and, and let everybody understand that it was a mistake and, and he wasn't trying to cheat. We don't need to cheat. We're good enough as it is. Now, as he stated, he's known about this for a while. In fact, it's the reason Arizona let him go. So before he signed with Chicago, he made sure he laid all of his cards on the table. He was up front right away. Uh, he told us what happened, uh, and then we took it from there. So now we know the ruling. Uh, we know when, you know, exactly how long, you know, he has to sit out, and we'll deal with it from there. It was great to have support from a team that didn't even know me when a team that I played for years for, played well for, wouldn't show me any kind of support. Now, if the day hadn't been going bad enough, Obafemi tweaked his right knee during this drill when he collided with receiver Mike Haas. A few minutes later, he luckily did return to the sideline and appeared to be okay, but he did tell me, what a day. Now, Obafemi will start a suspension on September 1st once training camp is complete, and he will be gone until the Detroit game is over on September 30th. In Bourbonnet with the Bears, William Jackson, Comcast Sportsnet.